The oxygen poor blood enters the right side of the heart and is represented by the blue illustration shown here. Blood enters the heart through two large veins. You have the inferior, which is the bottom, and the superior, which is the top, vena cava. The oxygen poor blood from the body enters into the right atrium of the heart. As the atrium contracts, blood flows from the right atrium into your right ventricle through the open tricuspid valve and tri meaning three. Now all the diagrams that I found had two valves due to the 2D diagrams. So I took the liberty of drawing the heart in Photoshop and it was with well over 50 layers. I'm not sure if you know what that means, but it was a lot of work uh, to help with the illustration. This took several hours. And if you could please show your appreciation by subscribing, if you're not already, and clicking the like button, that would mean so much to me. Now back to the animation. When the ventricle is full, the tricuspid valve shuts. This prevents blood from flowing backwards into the atria while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, blood leaves the heart through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery. And just by the name pulmonic valve, pulmonary artery, you can kind of guess where it's going to. Yep, the lungs. And that's where it gets oxygenated by exchanging the CO2 for O2. Now onto the left side of the heart. Now the left side of the heart operates at the same time as the right side of the heart. The pulmonary vein empties oxygen-rich blood from the lungs into the left atrium of the heart. And just a side note, I was really confused when I was in nursing school because veins, they're supposed to be blue and arteries are supposed to be red. But here, if you know where the blood is coming from and where it's going to, then you'll know which part of the heart has oxygen poor blood and oxygen rich blood. Now as the atrium contracts, blood flows from your left atrium into your left ventricle through the open mitral valve, which is also called the bicuspid valve. When the ventricle is full, the mitral valve, also known as bicuspid, by meaning two, that valve shuts. This prevents blood again from flowing backwards into the atrium while the ventricle contracts. As the ventricle contracts, oxygen-rich blood leaves the heart through the aortic valve into, you guessed it, the aorta, which leads to the body, going to the arteries, and eventually into the veins, and again, completing the blood circulation in your body. And then it just starts all over again. Now, I hope this animation helped and made it much easier to learn the blood flow of the heart. And if you gain value from this video, please consider subscribing. At the current time of this video, I have 98% of my viewers are unsubscribed. When you subscribe and hit the like button, it really helps the channel and motivates me so much to create more content. Content. A recent study shows that men take two seconds longer than women to uh, hit the like button and subscribe. So let's see who's faster. And as a side note, um, I have plenty of videos in my playlist that nursing students found very helpful. Please check it out. Let me know. Leave comments, of course. And please always hit the like button. Thank you so much.